What is going on guys, Spazbatic here, back inside Destiny 2, and in this video I'm going to show you guys a quick, efficient way of farming faction tokens for this week's faction rally. This is a method that I started doing on my own, then I found it to be the quickest and easiest way to level up my faction rank. This method is pretty self-explanatory because all you have to do is a public event, a patrol, and then finally a lost sector to get your faction tokens. Patrol normally would give you one stack of renown, while a public event would give you three, totaling in four. But whatever faction you're pledged to, it's best to wear the entire armor set for that faction because it would give you an additional stack of renown from that patrol or public event. When wearing a full set of faction armor, you can easily get a 5 stack of renown from one patrol and one public event. Looting a lost sector with a 5 stack of renown will total in 10 faction tokens plus the 5 from the public event completion. I like to do this method on Nessus just because it usually has the most public events out of any other planet up there with the EDZ. EDZ is possibly a pretty good option as well. Artifacts Edge, where I am right now, is my typically my go-to location because of how close everything is, making it easier to complete the patrol, public event, and the Lost Sector. So whenever you complete that in the Artifacts Edge, it's best to rinse and repeat, basically find a new location on Nessus and just do the same thing you did in this area. This farming method is efficient in my opinion just because you get a total of 15 faction tokens from the patrol and public events in literally 5 minutes or so or however long it takes you to complete the 3 patrol public event in the lost sector. And 15 tokens during one run is good in my opinion, it's decent, better than the 13 you could get if you didn't wear the faction set is because you get, that's basically one rank up and doing a three, doing three ones will guarantee, 3 runs will guarantee you two faction rank ups because you need 20 tokens to rank up once the faction in three three runs will give you 45 tokens and wearing a full set of faction armor during this is ideal because you actually obviously get the extra stack of renown and that is really important because the difference between four and five renown is two tokens and that can definitely add up in the long run if you are farming this for a long time so I would say the best supers to use for these runs, I know I'm on a hunt right now, I like to use the uh, Arc Strider. For the Warlock, I'd recommend the Voidwalker or the Dawnblade's decent as well, and for the Titan, I'd probably recommend the Hammers. The uh, Hammer of Soul is really good for that for this run. And just so you guys know, it takes 500 tokens to reach, uh, reach rank 25 and 1000 tokens to re reach rank 50, which is the basically the max rank for the faction. And for reaching rank 50, you get the armor ornament and the weapon catalyst. And obviously, you get Graviton Lance catalyst for Dead Orbit, Sunshot for Future War Cult, and the Sweet Business for uh, New Monarchy. And after you complete the public event, like I said, just go to the Lost Sector here. And obviously, since I died, I lose a stack of renown. So whenever you die, just letting you guys know that as well, if you die, you lose a stack of renown. But it doesn't really matter for me because I just completed the public event. I get five stacks already because you get four renowned for a public event completion with a full set of faction armor so once you complete the patrol in the public event you should have a stack of five renown if you have the faction armor set on and once you complete that lost sector or wherever you are it's i like to do it on nessus just because everything's kind of close to each other uh, you should be able to get 15 faction tokens from opening that chest so once you complete that just rinse and repeat like i said earlier and just keep doing it patrols, public events, and farming the Lost Sector for the tokens to get your reward. So once you kill the boss here, like I said, using an Arc Strider on the Hunter is probably ideal here, just because this part is pretty easy. Once you kill him, go to the chest and get your faction tokens. I think, I think this is the best method in my opinion, just because it's quick, easy. I got 15 tokens, 5 from the public event, and 10 from the Lost Sector. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful and informative in any type of way. If you guys enjoyed it as well, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later, back inside Destiny 2. Peace.